What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mitchell Saltzman, and I am joined by Steve Isles, the senior producer at R8 Games, who's going to tell us all about Pacer. So, Steve, what's this game all about? So, Pacer is a futuristic, anti-gravity racing game, which is set in uh, 2075. Uh, it is more of a strategic racer than it is an out-and-out -out pure arcade racer. Okay. Uh, why don't we jump into a, a race, and you can kind of talk us through what's happening here. Okay, so John is just starting in uh, one of our 14 tracks. This one is uh, Satterwald. Uh, so this is day uh, uh, going forward. Um, now, one of the things that you mentioned to me off camera was that there's, uh, there's different times of day that you can play these, these tracks on. Yeah. Uh, how, how does the track, track change in any other kind of way other than the, the visuals, or is it pretty much just a uh, you know, lighting effect kind of difference? No, it's, uh, you basically start off uh, racing forward and then when you, when you go into the campaign mode, you are, as you go through campaign, you slowly unlock all the other uh, modes of a particular track. So you're racing day uh, as, as default and then you've got a nighttime version. Um, you've also got a reverse uh, version of the track that you can race. Um, and there's also a mirrored uh, version of the track that you can race, and then you can mix and match, so you can do mirrored reverse, and every iteration of that track is obviously a new version of that track. Uh -huh. So you're getting effectively four variants um, to actually race around, and then obviously on the night, and you've got eight variants in, in total. Wow. You are going so fast. <laughs> is, is there... Obviously, you guys are very experienced uh, making this kind of game. Uh, is there any kind of careful consideration that you guys have to make to the actual control of the, the racer when you're going this fast? Like, how, how do you guys balance the handling of the of the cart or of the, of the car versus the speed of the game? Uh, that, I think that comes down to having a, a, you know, a really good physics system. Mm -hmm. um, one, of, one of the things that we've seen from, you know, from uh, other AG racers is they they can in their earlier iterations be a little dip, you know, difficult to actually get a hold of. Um, so we produced a physics system uh, that was very very feature rich and allowed us to do a lot of customizations to the craft, therefore making it easier to handle. The, the speed is always you know the speed is always a major component of this. We wanted it to be 60 frames per second on console. For sure. Uh, you know it's locked. You know, which we've achieved. Um, it runs faster than that if you've got a PC, or if you're seeing anywhere from 120 to sort of 240 plus frames per second, depending on the game. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, in, in, in 4K as well. One thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, this game previously uh, had its life as Formula Fusion. Yeah. Um, what has the evolution been like for that game to right now where it's, uh, it's become Pacer? Uh, it's a massive evolution. Uh, the, you know, the, the, the studio are very lucky that they were able to take what they had learned from Formula Fusion uh, and basically give it the lease of life that it, it should have had in its original iteration. Uh, so we, you know, we've got uh, we've added to the team with more experienced staff. Mm. Uh, Jason Haddington, who is our head of art. Uh, he came in and, and basically did a clean, three, a clean sweep right the way through the game, updating all of the tracks, as many of the visuals as we could within our, our time scale, bringing it up to four, so it could be brought up to 4K uh, within the 60 frames per second on console. Um, under the hood, um, Sean and the rest of the programming team have pretty much gutted the entire game, so the physics system is built from the ground up. Um, all of the AI has been uh, built from the ground up. And most of the game's been built from the ground up. There's, wow. there's not a lot of the original code left with, within Pacer from the original Formula Fusion iteration. Sure. So right now we're in a garage. Yeah. Uh, can you go into a little bit about the customization options in this game and how that's going to affect your, your actual racing? Okay, so you've got, you've got multiple uh, updates within this. So you, you, what John is in now is in the section where you can update the, the look of your craft. So there's, there's different skins, there's different bolt-ons um, that you can have. It's all, all, all cosmetics. Mm -hmm. um, and when you've got the ship looking how you want it to look, um, then you can go into the other part of the garage and then actually start upgrading the craft uh, and its, its handling capabilities. And also, uh, as well as its handling capabilities, you've got the different coloured exhaust trails, etc. Okay. 
Now, outside of the craft specifically, you've also importantly got the weapons. Um, now, within the multiplayer modes, um, we've got multiplayer modes where you can actually go into a race with or without weapons, so it's not a case that the weapons are always present within a race. Mm -hmm. uh, but you get all the weapons as soon as you get into the game. As you go through the game and you, and you acquire tech credits, um, then you can actually unlock modifying cards and then start modifying those weapons. And that is another real key feature of Pacer that you haven't seen in other AG races. Interesting. And uh, I see there's a there's a currency in the top left. How are yeah. how are people going to be getting this currency? Okay, so tech credits are earned via well many different things within a race. So coming first, number of overtakes, number of kills, completing the race, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They they all go to acquiring tech credits, which you then accumulate and then are able to then spend within the garage. Okay. So it's very it's very much um, and we we were. You know, we were looking at the uh, like the in-app purchase model, and we we didn't want to create a game where you were you were paying to win. For sure. So you you do have that grind, but then everyone's got that grind, and it's about balancing that grind so you you you're not going for so long without actually unlocking something new within the, the actual game. Cool. Uh, one of the things that you talked about briefly was multiplayer. Can you go into a little bit about the multiplayer modes that people are going to be seeing in Pacer? Yeah, sure. There's uh, multiplayer is up to ten players, uh, and that's on all console and also on the PC format. Uh, we have seven multiplayer modes, uh, including uh, an anti gravity's first uh, multiplayer mode in Battle Royale. Oh, Battle Royale in a futuristic racing game? Yeah. What's that like? So with, with our implementation of uh, a Battle Royale mode, uh, what we have done is uh, put a force field uh, around the ships, uh -huh. which are covering all the ships from lap one, and every lap you, you're going around the circuit, then the, the force field is getting ever so, you know, ever so, uh, ever so slightly smaller. Sure, sure. Um, so what you've got to do is you've got to stay within that force field. You, your ship is outside of the force field, you start hemorrhaging that. Um, so it, it's lost man's time. And then, so, okay, so, so the last car to, to survive the damage uh, knockoff of yeah. getting outside the force field is going to be the winner. Yeah, Got it, okay. Um, we talked a little bit about the, the day night uh, system in the game, and now yeah. we're playing on a, a night course. Yeah. Um, so, how, how is this course differ, different from, from the day version? Uh, well, this, it isn't any different in the way that John is playing it. He's still going forward, it's, it's just an aesthetic change. Okay. Um, whereas if, if obviously John went to a mirrored mode or reverse, then then yeah, it's a completely different story. Right. Well, it looks it looks really cool. I love the. It's all. It almost reminds me of like going to Disneyland when when it's it's nighttime and all the lights come on, all yeah. the you know, it, everything feels like a, it's glowing almost. Uh, so very very cool. Uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing a bunch of weapons getting picked up. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about the weapon arsenal in in Pacer? Okay, so John is. Um, got two weapons on this craft right now so what you just saw him using was a tether weapon and the tether weapon uh, attaches itself to another craft and drains its shield uh, energy and then the actual ship's energy. Mm -hmm. uh, the other weapon that John has got is an electrical weapon called Shockwave and that one basically disables the, uh, your enemy ships or your uh, the other multiplayer ships. Okay. Um, some of its electronic systems so it ca they can't boost and they're also getting damaged etc. Um, one other thing I wanted to, to ask you about, uh, music is, is always a, a really important part of these futuristic racing games. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what can you tell me about, about the music that you got here? Okay, so we've got a, we've got a bunch of uh, licensed tracks, so uh, one, one of the, uh, the guys that uh, we've got within this game is uh, Dub Effects, that have provided uh, a, a nice set of music. Uh, and another, another chap that we've got uh, is Tim Wright from Cold Storage, who was uh, you know, one of the original guys involved with the, the Wipeout series. So we've got some uh, exclusive music from him that he's provided that hasn't, hasn't been heard before, um, and some original compositions as well, specifically for Pacer. Cool. Uh, and there's, there's, there's more coming in that front, which we'll announce at a later date. All right, well, guys, that is Pacer. Uh, can you really quickly tell us about uh, what platforms this is coming out on and the release date? Sure. So it's coming 2019 uh, on PC, on Steam. Uh, and it's on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro Enhanced, and Xbox One and uh, Xbox One X Enhanced uh, in 4K, 60 frames per second. Cool. Well, thanks so much for stopping by and showing off. Thanks for having Ladies us. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Pacer. Thank you so much for watching, and for everything else, keep it here on IGN. Bye-bye.